we are given the position, we are going to find the velocity and also the acceleration. So of course the velocity is just the derivative of the position. Here is a product, so make sure you use the product rule. Keep the first function e to the negative t times d derivative of the second. The derivative of sine is cosine and the input stays the same, but remember to use the chain rule, multiply by the derivative of 2t which is 2. Then we add the second function which is sine of 2t and then times the derivative of the first. The derivative e to the power alpha is just e to the same thing times the derivative right here which is negative 1. Alright, now that's the position. Well, I mean, that's the velocity. Clean things up a little bit, we can factor out e to the negative t and then we have 2 cosine of 2t minus sine of 2t. Alright, go ahead and figure out what the acceleration is. 